Today we're going to be looking at a Suzuki SV650S 2001 motorcycle and we're going to be basically cleaning the carburetors and that's a job that a lot of people you know you're thinking whoa I can't do that man there's no way but you know what it's not as difficult as you may think as you're going to find out today as I take you through cleaning the carburetor on a Suzuki SV650S motorcycle. So first things first let's just get right into it. Uh, we want to open up the tank. Of course, this is a tank. This is where the gas is stored, as many of you know. Uh, if you don't know that, then stop the video right now because you probably shouldn't be messing around with the motorcycle. But for the rest of you who know this is the tank, it's in, a, it's in the way. The carburetor is actually located right under the tank, so we got to get it out of the way. So I'm just going to pop this right up, and if you take a look, you'll notice here that there's two loops. That's where the, the bolts are. There's uh, some bolts. I don't know if you can see that. There's there's bolts that hold the uh, the tank onto the frame, and that's where they go. Now, why I'm just pointing it out to you, if you're wondering, is because this tank is kind of heavy, and we want to keep it up and out of the way so we can work. Now, there's supposed to be a, a tank uh, stay or whatever it's called uh, that's supposed to hold it up, but I never really quite got that to work. So I got my some some trusty bungee cables from Home Depot and I'm just gonna pretty much bring this up put it in the hook okay that's one side and bring up the other side put it in the hook and there we go so now the tank is suspended out of the way and now we get access to clean the carburetor now just be very careful um, you don't want to put too much pressure on the hinge of the the tank that's located behind here you can't really see it but it's located back here here you have the first thing you see is the air box so this is the air box so when you ride your motorcycle air comes in under under the tank lip and it can get right in here and get into the engine and go through the whole process of intake compression power and exhaust there's some screws here for you to take the air filter out, but we don't want to mess with that. We don't need to. We can take the whole air box out of the way. So what we're going to do here is remove the air box because the carburetor is actually located <clears throat> right beneath the air box. Now, I don't <clears throat> you probably can't see it, but if you look here where my finger is, you can see right here is the back side of the carburetor the rear carburetor I know it's really hard to see from that angle but right here is the rear of the carburetor and the other side of the carburetor is up here but it's all under the air box so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that okay so we've got the air box loose just gonna lift this up now, <clears throat> to remove the air box, you're going to have to disconnect some things that are connected here. On the left side over here, there is there are some hoses. There's two hoses in the rear right here. There's one hose that's here, and there's one hose that's here. And it's just real simple. There's some, there's some clips that you just have to squeeze to relieve the tension and then that's going to get the uh, hoses loose okay I just got that one off let's get the second one off so those hoses are loose and that's pretty much it so now you can actually remove the air box it's that simple so there so here is your air box right and you can see underneath there's some uh, tied off ends here but on the other side, you can see what I was telling you about. You've got these two hoses where you had some hoses attached. There's some hoses right here. There's a hose right here and there. I'll, t I'll let you see that. There was a hose right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a hose right here. And there's a hose right here. See that? So there's two hoses that were attached to the air box kick this out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. There's a hose right there. So you've got the you've got the rear carburetor here and you've got the front carburetor here. 
we basically want to remove the carburetors from the bike so we can actually do the cleaning. So as you can see, the air from the air box comes down into here where it can enter into the carburetor and mix with fuel. But right now what we're concerned with is getting this carburetor out of the motorcycle. In order to get the carburetor out of the motorcycle, we're going to have to remove some points here. We're going to have to remove some contact points here where the carburetor actually makes contact with the motorcycle. Okay, so here we have the carburetors. You have the rear carburetor and you got the front carburetor. So those are the two carburetors that you have on this bike. And they're joined by this frame here. You see here, you see some of the fuel hoses. There's a fuel hose going across here and going out there. They got a fuel hose down there. You've also got this hose here that's going straight to the gas tank. You can't really see where it is, but it connects to the gas tank. And so does this one. So you also have the choke cable, which goes across the carburetor. On the front side, you've got a choke cable that's down here. It's hard to see. You can't really see it from the position that you're at right now. But right down here is the front, front basically the front left side, you've got the choke cable. So basically, you've got, you've got a choke cable for both carburetors, right? So you've got one that basically they, they start here. Right in this corner right here is where they start. You've got two choke cables coming out right through here. If you look right in there, you can see them. So you've got one guy that's connecting directly to the front carburetor right here. And you've got another one that's running down underneath the carburetor and goes through the frame you can see this that's this guy here so he runs through the frame and then it connects over here to this side now I'm going to tell you right now be very careful so here's where it connects right here this is the other side of it be very careful with this it's very delicate you don't want to break it um, I'm um, speaking from personal experience. You do not want to break that cable. So be very, very careful. It can, it can be a little bit difficult getting in there. Just, you, know, you got tight quarters, but take your time. Now, so that's the basic layout of the carburetors. But how does it get out? How do you get the carburetor out? Well, the way you get the carburetor out is you've got to separate, just like how the, the air box was connected by these. So you got your air box connected here, and then underneath, you have kind of the same thing because you've got air coming in mixing with fuel and then the, the mixture is being injected into the engine which is right underneath the carburetor so you've got air in mixed with fuel air and fuel out on the bottom going down the air is coming in the intake valve is open letting that air fuel into the combustion chamber and then at the bottom of that stroke you have completed your intake stroke and you're now ready for your next stroke now the way to get this out is you're going to have to disconnect the throttle cables, which are over here. I don't know if you can see them. It's a little dark in the corner. But if you look right here, here's your throttle cable. Now, if I twist the throttle, you're going to see, you see that? That's full throttle, and that's all the way down to idle. Okay? So that's your throttle cables. You're going to have to disconnect them. You've got a nut, you got a nut right here. You've got to loosen that nut. You've got to loosen both of them. That's going to allow you to pull this out of here, and then you're going to be able to be one step further to getting the carburetor up. Now you've also got to be concerned with some electrical connections. You've got a little junction here with a bunch of wires. Now one of these wires, as you can see, if you look on the bottom here, is connected to our. It's connected to the bottom side of the carburetor. So you got this guy here connected. So you got to you got to pull that out. So what I'll do here is I'm just going to. Pull the sleeve up a little bit. Now we've got to disconnect this wire here. It can be a little bit tricky to disconnect, but I'll tell you my, my trick. I'm sure other people have other tricks they use, but the thing about it is you got to be very careful because you start doing things like, like let's say for example, some guys want to come in here and they want to grab the pliers and they want to grab on this guy because they know they're not supposed to yank on the wires it's dangerous because you can damage the wires maybe they don't pop right now but the, you, you can damage them to the point where you have problems later on when you're riding so they hold it here to take pressure off the wires 
and then they try to put like a tool here. What happens though is you're putting a lot of force with the pliers, right? And then this is slippery with grease, it slides off and then you grab on the wires and you stress them doing exactly what you don't want to do because it's you know it just slides right off and grabs on there so what I do instead of doing that is I will hold this connector with this hand press down on this button with the other hand and I will wiggle and pull this out so I'll wiggle it wiggle wiggle pull and there you go there you go, pulled it right out. Now, good practice. You're pulling out wires. While you're in here, you might as well do a little spring cleaning. I'll spray this out with some electrical contact cleaner. Might as well. And then I'll just go in here and I'll connect this. show you how a clutch works. Marucho Lamborghini was born in the Lamborghini Huracan. If you love cars the way I love cars, then you're probably gonna wanna click on that subscribe button.